You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this, this is Sailor Black. This little unassuming bottle right here is a 50 ml bottle for 15 bucks. So uh, not very expensive really for a really nice black ink. I don't do a whole lot of black inks, uh, or at least I didn't for years. And now I'm kind of back into them. So when I started getting back into black inks, my friend Greg said, hey, you got to try this Sailor Black ink. I've got an extra bottle I'll sell you. And so uh, I bought this uh, from my friend Greg. So thanks, Greg, for turning me on to Sailor Black. Let's look at this on some paper where it is pretty dope all right so this is a very short review because hey this is a great ink and it's a black ink paper nebula casual note flow medium maybe medium wet ish uh on the copy paper it's actually very good it is up here you can see a few feathers and that sort of thing but this is 20 pound 30 percent recycled copy paper so kind of the uh trash tier stuff that you will find in your office copier because it's the cheapest around very little bleed through just a little bit here and there um pretty pretty average really there's only a couple that are that are better than that so pretty good on this bad paper uh qualities very deep black and also very shiny so when you have it this way super dark black and you tilt it a little bit, you get this like shine off of it. It's not exactly sheen, although, well, I don't know. Maybe this looks kind of sheeny. That's interesting. It's uh, just kind of a shiny black, which is uh, my favorite kind of black. I really like a black that's got some got some shine to it. It feels nice. It always looks a little bit like wet and slick and new and cool. So, yeah, there you go. Sailor Black. Now, the pen I had this in was a tools to live by Le Shot. So the cat. And this is uh, this is a great pen for us because we have four uh, animals, three cats and a dog and all of them are black and white so this is kind of a mr nose pen right here and it has this adorable little cat on the nib how nice is that now this is a fine nib i think it actually only comes in fine and it is not marked which is a little annoying but it only comes in one size so like we'll be okay cartridge converter pen not terribly expensive a little bit of black left in there i'm almost out but i filled this up several times because i actually really I really like using this ink and this pen. Um, I'm not really a matchy matchy sort of dude, as you know, but this is uh, this is actually working out really well for me. So, Le Chat, Tools to Live By, you can find these online in various places. Where did I get orange? What was I touching that was orange? Who even knows? All right, so <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, here we go. One of the very, very best black inks, I say here. It just kind of is. Uh, I will show you a whole bunch of samples of different black inks here in a minute, and this is uh, up there, top tier. Dark, saturated, shiny, joy to use, get some of this. So uh, yeah, let's do our water test. L take a look at it on some other papers, a little chromatography action, some other black inks to uh, compare to it, and, uh, and that'll be it. This is a good ink. All right, let's get some water on our subject here. I didn't do dots on this one for some reason. Weird. And uh, yeah, nothing. nothing's moving here. A little bit. We're getting a little bit of movement as it sits. Just a skosh. Like, not much. This is it's pretty impressive. Well done there, Sailor Black. Uh, jiggle you around there a little bit. This Nebula Casual note paper that I use for my reviews right now is very nice. You can find these, I forget how much these cost, like somewhere between 13 and 15 bucks, I want to say, and uh, I think totally worth it. These are really good notebooks. Yeah, a little bit came up, just a little bit of a gray, but wow, that is, that is very solid, actually, for a, for a dye-based ink. If I swipe it, I can get it to smear, but I mean, not much. How about that? That's pretty good. I actually didn't expect that. So pretty cool. All right. Well done, Sailor Black. Another tick in the wind column for this ink. All right, let's look at it on some other papers and all that jazz. All right, here we go. This is on Marmon Crokey, which is a paper that I also really like. Uh, I haven't been using it for ink reviews. I don't really know why. I just use it for these writing tests because it's really fun. Uh, but I uh, I like writing on this paper a lot. It's very smooth. It's really good with fountain pen ink. And this ink just like shines on here. Super pretty. That's what I love in a black ink. No bleed through or show through. Well, show through. I mean, it's ghosting or whatever, but it's not like bleeding through or anything. Do we get a little bleed? Um, is that a, I don't know. Maybe like maybe there's a little bleed right there. That's, that's the best it can, it can get. So yeah, but otherwise very nice. Very nice. I do a lot of these writing samples on Twitch, so join me over on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays, noon to two right now, uh, over at Twitch TV slash Ink Dependence Mike. That's how you will find me. All right, so there's that one. 
Uh, we also have it on, uh, this is Tomoe River. This is a Galen Leather Co. handmade. It says Everyday Book. These are uh, pretty darn good little books. I don't know if they really make them anymore because Tomoe River is getting hard to find. But here it is on Tomoe River. Of course it looks good on Tomoe River. Got a nice bit of shine on there. Looks good. Still very dark, very saturated. Next up, we have, uh, this is my currently inked Inky Fingers book, and this is wheat straw paper, which is a little bit hard to get now for some reason, but you can find sugarcane paper that's actually fairly similar. So, uh, yeah, good performance on this. Looks great. Really like that. A little bit of shine there. It's not, out, it's not like, you know, it's not, it's not blasting off the page or anything. It looks actually pretty subdued compared to a lot of stuff here. Here's Pearl Noir when it was, uh, when it was fresh. This one doesn't work for me. I don't, I don't really like that ink, but Sailor Black, this one is just so good. All right, let's look at a whole bunch of black inks here. Oh, let's do a little chromatography. I forgot about that. Oops. There you go. There's Sailor Black on a piece of chromatography paper. This is official chromatography paper and not uh, not cut up coffee filter. So a little fancier. And uh, what's in this black ink? Uh, there's like black in this black ink. That's kind of all you got. And down here, you can see this line didn't move, but I did get a fair amount of movement up here, which is interesting because in my water drop test, it really just barely budged. I had to swipe it to get it to come off. So interesting, but pretty good water resistance from this ink. This is a Colodex card. You can find these. There'll be a link in the description for these. Uh, I got them from uh, Honor Reiner at well-appointed desk she makes them here's color of her sunspot which is one that you don't hear a whole lot about but it is a very nice black and it actually has a little bit of like a bronzy kind of sheen on it when you put it down heavily really pretty ink there twisby black which you also really don't hear much about but very nice dense black as well cross black one of my uh, one of my top tier blacks this one has more of a velvety appearance you get a little bit of a shine off of it but it's nowhere near as shiny as, as cross black when you don't have the light on them, they're both very dark blacks. So very interesting uh, differences in those black inks. Of course, you have to have Aurora black if you're going to have these black samples. Super dark black, a little bit of a sheen on that one as well. And I've got uh, Monteverde Smoke Noir, which is actually, I think, a dark gray, but it's, it's super dark. So when you get it uh, with the light not shining off of it, it turns much like much blacker, but really nice smoke noir and also super water resistant. I have here Leonardo black, which is a very nice black as well. I haven't actually gotten to use this one. I just got uh, I just got the bottle of this very recently. Leonardo inks are actually a little bit difficult to find sometimes. I have Visconti black. This is an old one. I found this on the uh, the DC free stuff table. Uh, I don't know last year or something. This is uh, I bought, I got this because it was in a Visconti bottle. I it didn't even know what color it was because it didn't say but uh, Visconti black it's got a cool bottle then we've got uh, let's do this one last <laughs> this is dominant industry base black which is one of my other top tier blacks uh for me the top tier blacks are really like these i think these are uh these are amazing and then aurora black here is uh very good for if you need a really wet ink but uh, different kinds of characteristics super duper shiny this one very dark black if i tilt it away from the light but you get light on it and it just like shines uh similar to sailor black cross black more velvety Aurora Black, super dense uh, and uh, very wet. And then uh, there's this one, which is new. And I actually wrote the pronunciation pr the pronunciation on the back. This is Chokuro. This is super black from Platinum. This is brand new. And it is uh, the new ultra dark black on the, on, the, on the block. I don't think it's that much darker than Cross Black, though, if I'm honest. And if you tilt Sailor Black, it's pretty close. Although I think it's darker than Sailor Black. How are we doing with Base Black? If you don't have the shine, it's darker than base black, but this one just doesn't really reflect much at all. Uh, and cross black, I think, is actually very close. So uh, interesting stuff. This one is a pain in the butt to clean is what I hear. Uh, you have to use distilled water and it costs uh, 60 bucks a bottle, whereas cross black and like these other well, these other three are all in the probably like 12 to 15 dollar range. Although this one you can get for like eight bucks sometimes. So, you know, uh, so there you go. There's uh, Sailor Black, which is a really great black. I definitely say give this one a shot, especially at the price point and like the the, the characteristics of this black of this black ink just fantastic so there you go uh let me know what your favorite black ink is down there in the description and uh you know until the next video peace out